Welcome to World Chronicles, where we delve into the historical events that have shaped our world. Today, we take you back to the fateful night of April 14, 1865, when one of the greatest tragedies in American history unfolded the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, had led the nation through the Civil War, preserving the Union and abolishing slavery. But his noble efforts for a united and equal America would be cut short by a single bullet. On that ill-fated evening, President Lincoln attended a play at Ford's Theater. Little did he know that a conspiracy was brewing in the shadows, with John Wilkes Booth at its center. John Wilkes Booth, a well-known actor and Confederate sympathizer, had developed a deep hatred for Lincoln and his policies. Booth saw the president's assassination as a way to avenge the Confederacy and restore what he believed to be the rightful order. Booth conspired with a group of like-minded individuals, including Lewis Powell, David Harold, George Atzerodt, and others. Their plan was to simultaneously assassinate not only President Lincoln but also Vice President Andrew Johnson and Secretary of State William H. Seward. As the play progressed, Booth made his way to Lincoln's private box. Seizing the opportunity when laughter erupted from the audience, he entered and shot the president in the back of the head. Chaos ensued as Booth leaped onto the stage, shouting, Six Semper Tyrannies. President Lincoln was immediately attended to, but the wound was fatal. He was carried across the street to a boarding house, where he would breathe his last breath the following morning, on April 15, 1865. Meanwhile, the other members of the conspiracy faced different fates. Lewis Powell attempted to assassinate Secretary of State Seward but only managed to severely injure him. David Harold, on the run with Booth, was eventually captured. And George Atzerodt, who was assigned to assassinate Vice President Johnson, lost his nerve and did not carry out the plan. The hunt for the conspirators was relentless, and they were eventually tracked down. Booth himself was found hiding in a barn and, refusing to surrender, was shot by Union soldiers. He died a few hours later. The other conspirators were arrested and put on trial. Some were sentenced to death, while others received prison terms. The assassination of Abraham Lincoln plunged the nation into mourning. The loss of a beloved leader and the symbol of hope for a post-war America left a profound impact on the nation's psyche. Lincoln's body was carried on a funeral train that traveled from Washington, D.C. to Springfield, Illinois, where he was laid to rest. The nation grieved for the loss of a president who had fought tirelessly for the ideals of freedom and unity. Join us next time on World Chronicles as we uncover more fascinating stories from our shared history. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you for watching.